mental health struggles, cartoon avatars, and country confusion, there's a lot more to Naomi Osaka than just tennis. As many fans of the tennis star know, Naomi Osaka was born in Japan but moved to the United States when she was three years old. Her mother is Japanese and her father is Haitian. As a result, Osaka speaks three languages – English, Japanese, and Haitian Creole. However, she's the first to admit that she's not completely fluent in all three, and is especially shy about speaking Japanese in public. While speaking to Tennis Head, Osaka explained that part of her hesitation is due to her own sense of perfectionism. I understand everything, it's just the speaking part. I don't feel comfortable speaking to people I don't know. She admitted that wanting to be perfect had inadvertently resulted in her not speaking it at all. These days, Osaka uses interviews with the Japanese media to practice, but she tends to reply in English to questions questions asked in Japanese. Perhaps one day she'll take the plunge and speak the language in full. Like Venus and Serena Williams before her, Naomi Osaka was coached by her father, Leonard Francois. In fact, Francois has been open about being directly inspired by Richard Williams, explaining to the New York Times that he made the decision to get both Naomi and her sister Mari into the sport after seeing Venus and Serena play. He told the Times, The blueprint was already there. I just had to follow it. He's annoyed me so much that it just <laughs> makes me angry and I use the anger as a fuel to win. <laughs> Naomi told the New York Times that she and Mari played outside on clay courts like the Williams sisters, and feels a special kinship to Serena Williams because they're both the younger sister. She believes it might have been impossible for her to succeed without the presence of her older sister on the court with her. Naomi said, I think maybe Serena and I both have this really big sister connection. In another parallel to the story of Venus and Serena Williams, Naomi and Mari Osaka eventually started homeschooling so they could keep up with their rigorous training, and Naomi's family relocated to Florida to train, just like the Williams family. Naomi has been open about how important her family is to her, and she and Mari are exceptionally close. Talking to Nike, Naomi credits Mari with being her driving force. She explained, When I was little, Mari would beat me every day, and I feel like that shaped my competitiveness a lot. It just made me really want to win all my matches. In turn, Mari admits that she's been surprised by how frequently Naomi will take charge of situations that could overwhelm her. She said, I always see her as my little sister, but she's actually this businesswoman. While it might be easy to assume a tennis player as good as Naomi Osaka must spend almost all of her time living and breathing the sport, Osaka has plenty of interests outside of the game. In fact, one of Osaka's biggest interests is video games. In 2018, she told GQ that her favorite was the first-person shooter game Overwatch, which she and her sister Mari play frequently. Osaka gravitates toward playing characters that are more defensive, that help out their teammates by absorbing damage. She explained to GQ that, unlike her skill on the tennis court, she's not great at offense, saying, I'm not that great at attacking. My aim is not that amazing, so I'd just rather be a shield or something. Naomi Osaka has other off-the-court interests besides video games. She used to design clothes when she was a kid and has launched two fashion collaborations as an adult. Her capsule collection, with fashion label Adium, debuted in late 2020. Osaka incorporated modern Japanese stylings into the collection because she hoped to design something that was reflective of her own style. She told Vogue that, It's both feminine and something that I would personally wear. I really felt like this represented me and my style both on and off the court. Her Levi's organic denim collaboration dropped in July 2022. Osaka says tennis was a big part of the reason she fell into design in the first place. As she explained, she and her sister used to pass the long car rides to tournaments by drawing in the back seat. Actually, Osaka would often end up copying her older sister's designs, which she admits became a sort of dynamic between the two of them. As she put it, I just looked at her drawing and thought, oh, that looks really fun, so I started to copy her, which I guess is what I did in tennis as well. Naomi Osaka's cultural reach extends beyond tennis. In November 2020, she shared a photo of a manga character that was directly inspired by her. The character debuted in Nakayoshi magazine a month later. Osaka explained that her sister Mari worked closely on the development of the character, tweeting, Growing up reading manga, watching anime, was something that bonded me and my sister immensely, so this is really exciting for both of us. The magazine, which is widely considered one of the best manga magazines in Japan, released the story unrivaled Naomi Tenka Ichi in late December 2020. Having a biracial manga character illustrated and celebrated is a pretty big deal for the medium, as Professor Roland Keltz told the BBC. Featuring a female character, especially one so accomplished and universally admired, is a major leap forward in manga cultural awareness and representation. 
In May 2021, Naomi Osaka made headlines when she pulled out of the French Open to protect her mental health. Many were stunned by the move, as Osaka was ranked second in the world and was a heavy favorite to win the tournament. She opened up about the decision on Instagram, revealing that she has battled depression since 2018. Osaka said she never anticipated pulling out of a tournament, but she believed the decision was the right one for her in that moment. Osaka also emphasized that she was not hiding behind mental health or using it as an excuse, but that she wanted to be honest and transparent about her struggle. As she posted on Instagram, I never wanted to be a distraction, and I accept that my timing was not ideal and my message could have been clearer. More importantly, I would never trivialize mental health or use the term lightly. Osaka told Good Morning America that the decision to take a break gave her time to reset herself. She made this surprising announcement after losing a match to Leila Fernandez. At a press conference after the setback, she explained that winning a tennis match no longer made her happy. I honestly don't know when I'm gonna play my next tennis match. When she came back to the sport, Osaka made the decision to take part in the torch ceremony for the Tokyo Olympics, lighting the cauldron in July 2021. Osaka was the final person in the torch relay, which gave her the honor of officially kicking off the international competition. As someone who was born in Japan but raised in the United States, Naomi Osaka always knew she would eventually face a choice. Did she want to be an American citizen or a Japanese citizen? In 2019, Osaka made the call and renounced her United States citizenship. According to the Washington Post, Osaka made the move so she could represent the country of her birth in the 2020 Olympic Games, which were hosted in Tokyo. Osaka had to make the choice because Japan only allows dual citizenship up to the age of 22. She told local news NHK in Japan Japan that having the opportunity to represent the country she was born in was a powerful moment for her. As she put it, it is a special feeling to aim for the Olympics as a representative of Japan. I think that playing with the pride of the country will make me feel more emotional. However, Osaka's mother told the Wall Street Journal in the year before the decision that the choice was always going to be Japan. As she put it, quite simply, Naomi and her sister Mari have always felt Japanese, so that was our only rationale. In January 2021, Naomi Osaka invested in a national women's soccer league team, the North Carolina Courage. She took to Twitter to explain why she decided to become a part owner of the team, sharing that women who invested in her own career helped her reach heights in the sport that might otherwise have been impossible. Osaka wrote, Throughout my career, I've always received so much love from my fellow female athletes, so that's why I'm proud to share that I am now an owner of the NC Courage. The team was likewise thrilled to have Osaka on board. Stephen Malik, the the founder of the club, touted Osaka to ESPN, commenting that he believed the young tennis champion would provide insight into aspects of sports that go beyond the field. He added, I cannot think of anyone better to help us as we continue to make a difference in our community and inspire the next generation of women. Naomi Osaka's personal life is thriving. She's been in a relationship with the rapper Corday for a few years. The rapper made his boyfriend debut at one of her tennis matches in 2019. Osaka's not completely sure her boyfriend understands the rules of the game, but a GQ interview with the pair notes that Corday is an enthusiastic fan no matter what, quote, hollering in the stands every time she wins a point. Corday admitted to GQ that it's not my sport. If you asked me about tennis before being immersed in it because of Naomi, I could only give you Venus and Serena Williams, you know? The couple have made their relationship work despite the intense nature of their careers. Osaka goes on tour with Corday around her training schedule, and in March 2021, Osaka shared on Instagram that her boyfriend dropped everything so he could quarantine and join her at the US Open.